All right, questions for coach? Start with Keith Smith. Hey, Brad, without being cliche, is that more Celtics basketball tonight with the ball movement, the player movement, and then the scrambling and helping on defense? Um, I don't know how well we actually defended Keith. I think that they had us, I would say you use the right word. They had us scrambled instead of like rotating. I think whenever you go to like defensive clinic, defensive coaches call it rotating because their teams are really rotating around well. And the offensive guys are trying to get you to scramble. And I thought we were scrambling more than rotating, but um, credit them for that. They put us in a bind in a lot of ways. And then on the other end, we did, we, we played um, closer to what we want, um, but still, you know, let's back it up with a bunch of games in a row playing that way. Brian, Rob. Hey, Brad. Um, big uh, scoring contributions from the bench tonight. Um, did you just see it? Was there a different level of aggression from that group, do you feel like? And how big is that for you guys going forward? Um, you know, to just fill in those gaps offensively. I mean, it's really important Like that we just need, you know, we went with Teague. Teague and Peyton both played really well in that second game at Indiana that we won a couple months ago, and they kind of led that comeback in the late third, early fourth. Teague was coming off of, you know, a, he was probably, you know, our most encouraging performance on Wednesday just because he hadn't played as much and played pretty well. Um, especially offensively. I thought he was great tonight. Peyton was really good. He was really engaged. And Robert, you know, gave us what, what certainly he's capable of giving us. Um, we don't need that scoring every single night, but we need that kind of like the way that they played every night. And so, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a great matchup for a couple of our guys that normally play. And they'll get more opportunities when the matchup presents itself. But I was really happy for Jeff. This has not been an easy transition for him. He didn't play the way he wanted to or didn't feel good about it, but he's been putting in as much work as any of our young players over the last two weeks, and I think that's showing and paying off. John Corrales. Brad, you've talked about bringing your own energy in these situations, obviously, without fans seemed like the bench was especially loud and active, the guys who were sitting on the bench during the game. Uh, was that a point of emphasis for, for you guys to, to, to kind of bring more energy from the bench? Well, first of all, we, we've played in front of fans everywhere else, John. Like the last three games, we have been playing in front of fans. And so it is, it is like eerily quiet in here versus other places that we play. And so – it is a little bit of an adjustment. I would say that when you go through, you know, the first part of the season that we've gone through where you're treading water in a lot of ways, you have a better chance of your team ripping apart and staying together and just kind of galvanizing itself. And that's all we've talked about, just stay together. Like our greatest legacy that we'll leave, no matter how many games we win, is how we treat each other in these moments and how we stay together so that we can ultimately become as good as we can be. And that's, that's it. And so I think that the bench was loud. I think that the starters were loud. I think Kimba helped will us to a win in a lot of ways, but I think it was just a matter of everybody just deciding that the most important thing was to support each other and be together. Jared Weiss. Uh, Kimba and Teague, they both got to the line eight times. How important is it for your point guards to be attacking deep into the paint? How much did that open things up for you? Well, we need everybody that, that, that can attack to attack. I, I've said this before, and one of the reasons, again, why we went with Teague is just we just need more shot creation. And it doesn't necessarily mean shots for them or free throws for them. It's the ability to get into the paint, sink the D, and make the right play. And I think that that's, you know, something that has not been as consistent for our team, obviously. It's shown itself a lot on second night of back-to-backs when Kimba hasn't played. But um, they both did an excellent job tonight. And then I thought Peyton had a ton of, like, loose ball energy points that also um, were huge for us. So all three of those little guys did a good job tonight. 
Gary Washburn. Hey, Brad, is it uh, good to get a win on one, a night that Tatum and Brown both weren't just, you know, weren't on, just didn't work quite themselves, and to kind of grind out a win? I mean, they pushed you, but you guys pushed back. Is that satisfying more than if you, I mean, you want to win every game by 30, but you also want to be challenged in tonight in Lord City. Gary, it's good to get a win on a day that ends in Y right now. That's all I can say. It's just good to get a win. And I don't care how we did it other than stay together, play together. Doesn't matter who's having an off night. Doesn't matter who's having a great night. It's about our team finishing it and figuring out a way to win. And, you know, I thought some of Tatum's best moments were when he came right back in the game in the third quarter. He looked like he had kind of found that, that energy and that extra burst. Um, but, you know, those guys aren't always going to be able to do what they've done. And so we do have to pick up for them. So, yes, it was good, but it's just nice to get a win this week. Matt Vidor. Brad, did it seem like Kemba was stronger in the fourth quarter than he's been, the, in, in, both stronger and more confident? I mean, I thought he was really good in that run late in Dallas, Matt. So I don't know about stronger per se. Um, I just thought – I don't think we win the game without his will tonight. Like, I think that no matter how everybody's playing, when that thing was 18 to four, he was the loudest voice. He willed us back into that thing. And then now we are back on our footing. We have a little bit of confidence, which had been shot right this week. And so that's, but that's what really good players do. And that's what veterans do. That's what guys that have been there, done that and done it for a long time do. And so I really thought he led us tonight. Last couple of questions for coach. We'll go to Adam Himmelbach. Brad, this was another one where Kemba um, played really well, particularly offensively coming off his day off with the back-to-back. -back. Funny how, how many... that works, isn't it, Adam? Yeah. Uh, like These games run from... together for everybody. That's yeah. part of it. So aside, as I'm saying, aside from everything with his knee, with these games so crammed together, you know, are you seeing other guys, like, do you feel at all that, like Tatum looks worn down a little bit. Like, is this something maybe in the second half you look to kind of steal other guys having a day off like this on a back-to-back -to, -back to try to get legs like he appears to be having? Yeah, we've had a lot of deep conversations about the right way to approach the intensity of these schedules. We have, we've been in a really tough spot from the standpoint of, you know, you're always missing somebody right now. And, you know, and when Kimba sits on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, you're missing, you know, two of your – four best players. And so that has presented some challenges and some uniqueness, but I think we all have to, yeah, we all have to be alert to that. But it's also why, you know, you're just doing the best you can right now. And I think that this, I think that we'll have a little bit more freshness as this week goes along, just because you're sleeping in your own bed, you're not getting in at two in the morning consecutive nights like we did earlier this week. And you'll just kind of catch up that way and hopefully feel good by the end of the week. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, coach. Yep.